Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. This is Nitin here and I have come up with very amazing problem and it's a very very challenging I must say and it is from the book uh, Pathfinder and as you can uh, see the name of this problem is current flow in an isotropic material. Okay, and this is the diagram of uh, this problem. It is from the section of uh, challenge your uh, understanding and it uh, really challenges that. So let's uh, discuss this uh, problem. Here is the statement of uh, this particular problem. And it says, you can see a material has an isotropic resistivity such that its resistivity in one direction, say along X axis has maximum value and it has minimum value perpendicular to this so it's a variable uh, resistivity in different different direction however this is minimum in this plane and uh, along this it is maximum okay and there is a, a relation between rho max and rho minimum is uh, given and they are saying a strip ABCD of length 9 cm and width 1 cm is cut from a specimen of this material in such a manner that x axis passes through the strip making an angle of uh, theta with the edge AB shown in the figure if a constant potential difference is applied between faces AD and BC okay so a battery is connected across uh, these two terminal here how much potential difference will be developing between uh, midpoints P and Q of the edges. So these are the two points here. We have to find out how much is the potential difference uh, between these two points. All right. So let's uh, see this question. So here is the diagram and uh, let's discuss the concept part of it. And there is a very interesting uh, fact here. Normally at our plus two syllabus, we study that current density and electric field uh, are going to be parallel. But uh, that is true only for isotropic uh, materials. Uh, however, this relation is no longer valid for uh, an isotropic materials where uh, resistivity changes in different directions. So this is the first point we should know in order to attempt this question. All right, let's uh, move ahead. So as you can see in this diagram, we are going to connect a battery across these two terminals, AD and uh, BC. Here we are going to connect the battery. So you can see here the, the current which is going to flow, this current will be flowing in this manner. So we can say this J vector also, its current density vector is uh, in this direction. And I can write its magnitude as total current by area of cross section. All right. So now here, what I'm going to do is since J is a vector quantity, you know, I, I could uh, proceed with the current, but there is a problem as current is scalar. I cannot take components in two different directions. So that's the reason I'm uh, focusing on uh, J vector, which is current density vector. And I will be taking the components in two perpendicular directions. So I, I cannot do that with the current. That's the reason I'm focusing on a vector where components taking is uh, easier and logical also. So this uh, J along X axis, it will have a component of J cos theta and uh, along, uh, let's say this is Y axis perpendicular to X axis and value will be J sin theta. Now that's where we can use uh, our standard result j, j equal to sigma e. Since in this particular direction, in this particular direction, rho is constant, I can uh, still use that logic j is equal to sigma e or I can say it is e by rho. So j cos theta is equal to e x by rho of x. Similarly, I can write this j sin theta as a sigma e along y direction which is going to give me e y by rho y all right so please make sure that you are taking component of uh, j vector after this if you look at the electric fields created by you know these uh, resistivities or current densities 
so this field is uh, ex and this field is uh, ey now we can uh, divide this into two components one is parallel to the strip and another one is perpendicular to the strip so parallel to the strip uh, this electric field component uh, if we take it is going to give us e parallel is equal to ex cos theta plus ey sin theta ex cos theta plus ey sin theta similarly this e perpendicular i'm assuming this one is more so ex sin theta minus ey cos theta so that's how we are going to get this e parallel and e perpendicular from there only you will get the idea that actually due to this e perpendicular because the very first thing was if current was flowing the idea will be how exactly this potential difference will be developing here and here they are at same line it should be zero that will be the feeling but what exactly happens is due to this e perpendicular the induced charges will start uh, drifting in such a way that some of them will accumulate at this surface and some of them will accumulate at this surface so this due to these induced charges potential difference between point p and point q will be generated i hope this part is uh, clear to you so once if it is clear to you directly i can say this delta v battery i can write it as uh, e perpendicular uh, sorry e parallel this component i have called as e parallel so e parallel into l as i have written here similarly vpq this we have to find out and this is going to be e perpendicular into b which i have written here okay now let's substitute the values of uh, e parallel and uh, e perpendicular so here i'm taking this expression and uh, e perpendicular value i'm going to substitute in this it becomes e x sin theta minus e y cos theta times b now i'm going to substitute value of ex and ey which we can see in the previous equation these are the values of ex and ey so ey is uh, rho y j sin theta and ex is rho x j cos theta i hope you are able to follow this uh, logic now here when i substitute these values and simplify i'm going to get a equation here please mind you that uh, you know this j is unknown to us this is not uh, known to us so somehow i have to eliminate this j this i took from uh, uh, my side it should not be the part of answer so now next task is to remove it or eliminate it somehow so for that purpose we haven't used the value of e uh, parallel yet so let's go to that now here battery voltage is equal to e parallel times l and that becomes ex cos theta plus ey sin theta times l as we have seen it earlier also now when i substitute the value of ex and ey i am going to get this j value as you know you can simplify and you will be getting j is equal to v by rho x cos square theta plus rho y sin square theta now this j value i am going to substitute there and i will be getting it as vp minus vq is equal to vb by l rho x minus rho y sin theta cos theta divided by rho x cos square theta plus rho y sin square theta this is going to be the answer for this uh, problem and i'm not going to do the calculation part here so this is from uh, pathfinder and uh, it was under the section of uh, challenge your understanding first problem so if you substitute all these uh, values your answer will match okay i hope you have enjoyed and uh, understood this concept properly if still some doubt or some clarity is not there i'll request you to watch the video again and uh, if uh, any discussion you want with me uh, my email is there you can write to me i'll try to respond okay thank you and if you have uh, liked it please uh, you know share it with your friends and teacher give us a thumbs up to the video and don't forget to subscribe my channel i'll be bringing up another amazing problem very soon thank you thank you very much